Hello everybody and welcome back to another OpenGL tutorial. Today we're going to be uh, downloading a library that will prepare us for uh, the next video, probably a stream, where uh, we're going to be learning how to import 3D objects into our uh, into our OpenGL project so that we don't have to define uh, vertices for each object because that's going to get really confusing, especially when you have larger and more complex models. All right, so the, today the uh, library that we're going to be installing is called Open Asset Import Library, nicknamed a simp. Uh, I'm not referring to a simp. It is nicknamed a simp, one word, not two. Uh, so the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to first install CMake. Now, uh, I'm going to be following the instructions on the GitHub uh, tutorial that I made, um, or on the uh, Markdown tutorial that I made. This is on the GitHub and um, the first thing that we have to do is install CMake. So CMake uh, is a tool that will allow us to compile source code into libraries. So um, on the download link, uh, which will also be in the description, go ahead and click your uh, corresponding um, installer. I'm going to do Windows 64. And once with CMake, we can essentially turn source code which a simp, a simp comes in and turn it into a Visual Studio project that we can then use to build a DLL and uh, static library at the same time, which, will, which we will then use uh, in our OpenGL project. So go ahead and run this, down, uh, this installer. Just follow the process, accept. Um, make sure you add it to the path, um, and then you should create a, des a, de a desktop icon. All right, that path is fine. Next, and go ahead and install. Okay, so once that download finishes, click finish, and then uh, you will see that on the desktop, there is now a CMake GUI icon. So we can go ahead and open that up and see what it looks like. Um, so you see here that we have uh, source code, a, a location for the source code, and then a build location. So now let's go ahead and download the actual source code that we're going to be using. So um, this comes in, uh, this is on the uh, Asimp GitHub page, they, this is a list, so just click the latest release and download the zip file. Um, so once you have that, uh, go ahead and take the zip file and copy it and paste it in a library folder. Now I like to put all my libraries in one sort of folder outside of my program files because if you do have your library in a program files uh, folder, it could become complicated with either a space in the name or permission. So I just like to have them in a C slash source slash libs file. This is where I also have my Flutter library. So paste that in there. Click extract here. And it will extract it to a folder. And you can also delete the zip file after that. And you see now that we have a bunch of files in here and some of them are named CMake. Now CMake uh, these are just configuration files. So we can go ahead, take this path, copy it, go back in your CMake GUI and paste that in the source code uh, directory. So we're going to be taking the source code from this directory and compiling it into a directory and we're going to create a new directory called build in that same folder. So for where it says where to build the binaries, just put the same directory and then just add a slash build at the end. And then go ahead and click configure click yes. Uh, for here, do whatever uh, compiler you have. Um, there's a bunch. I'm going to do Visual Studio 16, which is Visual Studio 2019, which is what I have. You can leave everything else the same and then click finish. If you get all these errors, uh, in, or not errors, but if you get all these entries in red, that's okay. Just click configure again and then you'll, it'll go away and then click generate. And finally, it will say generating done which means it has generated the Visual Studio project. So now you can go ahead and exit out of CMake and go back into the uh, library folder and you see that in the build folder, there's Visual Studio file. So double click the solution file and it's now gonna open it up in Visual Studio. And you're gonna see that there are gonna be a bunch of projects on the right. Now, before we build this, make sure that one, all build is highlighted. It should be automatically, and you are in X64. That's that's essential. Uh, you can do debugger release. I'm just going to keep it at debug for now because that's what we have our OpenGL project in. 
So to build, I'm just going to I'm just going to say build uh, build solution, or you can do Control Shift B. Okay. Once the build finishes, you should see that uh, eight uh, succeeded there and three skip. That doesn't really matter at this point. Um, so it built all those projects, and what it did is it compiled them uh, into our DLL and our .lib files that we need to uh, add the source code. Um, so right now, uh, go ahead and find your OpenGL project, go to the directory where the solution file is, and then now back in the library in the build folder, uh, we're going to go ahead and find the DLL and the lib uh, files. So uh, it's going to be in build, so the build folder, slash code, slash debug, or if you have, um, if you did release, it will be in code slash release. Uh, now go ahead and take the DLL file and copy it and then back in your project directory go to where you installed GLFW3 and paste it in with that. Um, now with the lib folder copy that and then go into your linking folder in the solution go into lib and then create a new folder called a, uh, a simp. Once again uh, it sounds really bad but you know this is a good library and then just paste it in that in that uh, directory there um, so now that we have the libraries we need to add the include directories as well so there are actually two uh, locations for the include um, the first one is going to be uh, in the build so just take the in the build folder just drag the include file into your linking directory and what this or don't copy it rather copy and paste it so what this is going to do is it's going to add a new a new folder called a simp and it's going to add a single file it should be config.h. Now go back into the root of the library, find that that include folder and also copy and paste that into the uh, linking directory. So now when you open up the library you should be you should see um, a lot more uh, dot uh, header files in there. So these are all of the header files. Okay. Now we can go ahead and actually configure the properties of our OpenGL project. So go ahead and exit out of the Visual Studio for the library. Open up the Visual Studio uh, solution of your project. And we only have to do one step here. So right click the project, go in, into properties, find linker and input, um, and select the platform that you have it on. Um, so I guess for me it's x64 and debug. Um, and then in the additional dependencies, we're gonna add the path to the library. Now we've already configured the, the library path in the first couple in like the first video, I believe, where we added the GLFW library. So everything is already included along with the include directory. So we don't have to do anything for that. So all you have to do is just type in um, a simp backslash and then the name of the uh, dot lib file so that is going to be uh, this you can just go ahead and copy that from there and there's make sure to put a semicolon after all that so you can go ahead and click apply okay and then that's pretty much it we have installed the uh, asset import library and just to make sure that it's all included properly um, in the main file you can just say hashtag include and if you type in a simp uh, you should see all of the files um, in there and uh, you can just go ahead and build the project just to make sure there are no errors and it seems to be all good. So yeah, that is uh, installing a simp. Um, this will set us up for the next stream uh, where we will actually be adding models into our program.